I think a lot of young people are scared about politics. They're sort of they what they miss because we live ever in the present and have no sense of history um, is that democracy is a very tough game. And that if you if you care about your country, you care about your community, you stand up, you run for something, but you're going to have to fight. It's just not yeah, I mean, um, not easy. Ed, you're 100 percent right. And democracy is not a spectator sport. And the more that we treat it as a spectator sport, instead of uh, looking at the necessity of involvement uh, in one way or another, the more we're we're uh, vulnerable to the um, corruption that exists within a system. Now, is, 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 is it a hopeless mess? No. See, I'm, I, I'm still an idealist. <laughs> After all, this, if I, am, I, I am too. And I've lived around the world in countries that aren't democracies. And for all our uh, uh, inconsistencies and our bruises and our uh, second guessing ourselves, I think it's a phenomenal system of government, better than any of the others that I've been around, no matter how orderly the others seem. Yeah, I'm with you on that. <laughs> Yeah, but hey. but but the whole idea about forming a more perfect union it means that we have to be involved. And you know, when I in the offices that I've held, uh, I never held back. I, I I just feel if you're not ever there every day on the front line, just fighting for the people you represent and and taking on issues uh, that are important to their economic survival, then what do you what do you what are you there for? Why why even be in office? And so I. Nah. You know, I can, I can say that I feel blessed to have uh, served this city in so many different capacities, and I owe it to the people when I uh, when I held that uh, whatever position I held, I kept the faith, and I, uh, you know, I I didn't I didn't spread it lightly either.